The five ETFs we will explain today are SOXS, SDOW, SQQQ, SPXS, SPXU. Please note that this analysis is based on the latest data and is subject to change. Investors should always do their own research before making any investment decisions. How has SOXS performed according to technical data? Technical Signals and Analysis SOXS's 14-Day Relative Strength Index, RSI, value was 59. When the RSI is between 50 and 70, it generally indicates that the stock is moderately bullish. This means that the securities price has been rising but has not yet reached overbought levels, which are usually considered an RSI reading of 75 or higher. The current stochastic oscillator of SOXS is 3%. When the indicator falls below the 20 level, it is usually considered oversold, indicating that a price rebound or recovery is likely for the stock. An oversold condition occurs when the stock price falls too fast and too much in a short period of time, which may indicate that the selling pressure has exhausted. Trend Outlook The probability of SOXS share price rising is 63%. When the probability of rising is higher than 50%, it means that the stock has a higher chance of rising. If the probability of rising is lower than 50%, it means that the probability of falling is high. Combining multiple technical analysis indicators, SOXS has 5 bullish signals and 3 bearish signals. SOXS's short-term support level is 21.2. If it falls below 21.2 during the session, it will have a chance to test 20.3. SOXS's short-term resistance level is 26.6. If it breaks through 26.6 during the session, it will look up to 29.1. What are the key technical drivers for SDOW? Technical Signals and Analysis SDOW's 14-Day Relative Strength Index, RSI, value was 39 when the RSI is above 25 and below 50, it generally indicates that the stock is moderately bearish. This means that the securities price has been falling but has not yet reached oversold levels, typically considered an RSI reading of 25 or lower. The current stochastic oscillator of SDOW is 6%. When the indicator falls below the 20 level, it is usually considered oversold, indicating that a price rebound or recovery is likely for the stock. An oversold condition occurs when the stock price falls too fast and too much in a short period of time, which may indicate that the selling pressure has exhausted. Trend Outlook SDOW has a 49% probability of rising stock price. When the probability of rising is lower than 50%, it means that the probability of falling is relatively high. If the probability of rising is higher than 50%, it means that the probability of stock rising is relatively high. Combining multiple technical analysis indicators, SDOW has three bullish signals and four bearish signals. SDOW's short-term support level is 14.5. If it falls below 14.5 during the session, it will have a chance to test 13.7. SDOW's short-term resistance level is 16.3. If it breaks through 16.3 during the session, it will look up to 17. What technical factors drive SQQQ performance? Technical Signals and Analysis SQQQ's 14-Day Relative Strength Index, 
RSI, value, was 55. When the RSI is between 50 and 70, it generally indicates that the stock is moderately bullish. This means that the securities price has been rising but has not yet reached overbought levels, which are usually considered an RSI reading of 75 or higher. The current stochastic oscillator of SQQQ is 4%. When the indicator falls below the 20 level, it is usually considered oversold, indicating that a price rebound or recovery is likely for the stock. An oversold condition occurs when the stock price falls too fast and too much in a short period of time, which may indicate that the selling pressure has exhausted. Trend Outlook SQQQ has a 33% probability of rising stock price. When the probability of rising is lower than 50%, it means that the probability of falling is relatively high. If the probability of rising is higher than 50%, it means that the probability of stock rising is relatively high. Combining multiple technical analysis indicators, SQQQ has five bullish signals and three bearish signals. SQQQ's short-term support level is 7.83. If it falls below 7.83 during the session, it will have a chance to test 7.59. SQQQ's short-term resistance level is 8.81. If it breaks through 8.81 during the session, it will look up to 9.3. SPXS Analyzing the U.S. Market with Technical Indicators Technical Signals and Analysis SPXS's 14-Day Relative Strength Index, RSI, value was 51. When the RSI is between 50 and 70, it generally indicates that the stock is moderately bullish. This means that the securities price has been rising but has not yet reached overbought levels, which are usually considered an RSI reading of 75 or higher. The current stochastic oscillator of SPXS is 4%. When the indicator falls below the 20 level, it is usually considered oversold, indicating that a price rebound or recovery is likely for the stock. An oversold condition occurs when the stock price falls too fast and too much in a short period of time, which may indicate that the selling pressure has exhausted. Trend Outlook SPXS has a 41% probability of rising stock price. When the probability of rising is lower than 50%, it means that the probability of falling is relatively high. If the probability of rising is higher than 50%, it means that the probability of stock rising is relatively high. Combining multiple technical analysis indicators, SPXS has five bullish signals and three bearish signals. SPXS's short-term support level is 7.35. If it falls below 7.35 during the session, it will have a chance to test 7.29. SPXS's short-term resistance level is 7.99. If it breaks through 7.99 during the session, it will look up to 8.2. What technical factors drive SPXU performance? Technical signals and analysis. SPXU's 14-day relative strength index, RSI, value was 50. When the RSI is above 25 and below 50, it generally indicates that the stock is moderately bearish. This means that the securities price has been falling but has not yet reached oversold levels, typically considered an RSI reading of 25 or lower. The current stochastic oscillator of SPXU is 4%. When the indicator falls below the 20 level, it is usually considered oversold, 
indicating that a price rebound or recovery is likely for the stock. An oversold condition occurs when the stock price falls too fast and too much in a short period of time, which may indicate that the selling pressure has exhausted. Trend Outlook SPXU has a 43% probability of rising stock price. When the probability of rising is lower than 50%, it means that the probability of falling is relatively high. If the probability of rising is higher than 50%, it means that the probability of stock rising is relatively high. Combining multiple technical analysis indicators, SPXU has four bullish signals and four bearish signals. SPXU's short-term support level is 27. If it falls below 27 during the session, it will have a chance to test 26.7. SPXU's short-term resistance level is 29.4. If it breaks through 29.4 during the session, it will look up to 29.9.